Oh my god, I cannot believe we spend this much every month. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Opayemi Goddess and um, if you're new to this channel, here I talk about everything ranging from lifestyle to life in the UK of course because I reside in the UK. Um, I talk about motherhood. I'm a first time mom who just had a baby six months ago. So I, I talk about motherhood, I talk about uh, my career as a nurse in the UK and pretty much everything awesome, everything fun and everything inspiring and uplifting. So if you like any of those things I've mentioned, please do what subscribe, um, smash the notification bell so you'd always be notified when I put up videos on my channel and yeah, stay tuned. So today I'll be talking about the cost of living for a family of three in the uk but I'll be very specific to where we live and also the fact that we're nigerian so it'll be like a, a cost of living video for a nigerian family of three residing in manchester so i know a lot of you know that we used to live in essex but we don't live in essex anymore of course i'll make a video about that saying why we moved from essex to manchester and i also do like a comparison like i would compare living in essex versus living in manchester the pros and cons and all of that so please stay tuned to this channel but today will be all about um the cost of living in manchester for a nigerian family of three and i need to emphasize the nigerian part because um the fact that we're nigerians would influence our cost of living whether we like it or not especially for my own family and that's because we still eat nigerian food and all of that but i'll go i'll go in details you know as we go along in this video so stay tuned get a popcorn and maybe a bottle of coke whatever you like to drink then let's get started so before i go ahead i also need to point out that okay so um we're a family of three but the third person in this family is still a baby so if you want to judge um, your own expenses or if you want to plan your own expenses or your expenditure based on hers like say if your own family is a family of three just bear in mind that the third person in this family is a six month old baby so just um be careful when you're like planning based on this video the other person is a six month old baby and then the other two people are adults that's my husband and hi so we we need to consider that and um, i also should say that we are very much frugal extremely frugal this family of three we're extremely frugal in spending and in how we buy things so you also need to put that into consideration if you're like planning your own expenditure based on this video okay so let's just um go right into it so the first thing as we all know that um basic things we need in life we need shelter we need clothing and we need food to survive so i'll start with shelter we live in a two-bedroom flat and it costs us 750 pounds every month as rent that's how much you pay for rent for the two bed um house two bed flat sorry so and then in this two bed um i i will just say what we have in this two bed flat just so you have an idea of why it costs maybe less for you or you think it costs so much i wouldn't know it depends it's relative coming from sx 750 for a two bed apartment is like cheap 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 like extremely cheap for us coming from sx but you get the point but if you if you live like if you live like farther away in the north this might sound a bit expensive, but just so you have um, a clear picture. So it's a two bed house, meaning that we have um, we have um, two bedrooms, of course. We have a living room, we have a toilet and bathroom, and we have a kitchen, and that's all we have in this house. There's nothing more to eat, no storage. Of course, the house comes with a storage, but the landlord still uses the storage. Storage versus driveway versus garage, like so you can actually use the the, the garage for. Um, parking your car which our neighbors do for their own garages you could either use it to park your car you could use it for storage really you could just use it as a driveway really but we don't have access to it because our landlord still uses it for his own business that is he uses he uses it as a warehouse for his own business so that's that but just know that if our landlord wasn't using that we would have access to a garage which we would be using to park our car so that's that so um that's for rent we pay 750 the next is um energy now for this house this house is um solely electric based is that the right way to put it we only use electricity in this house so we don't use gas and we all know that for houses that only use electricity it means that your electric bill will be you know over the roof because you don't use gas you only use electricity 
but um funny enough we only pay 100 and 135 pounds for energy and that's because i mentioned that earlier we are very frugal in how we manage resources generally besides money so even in terms of energy in this house we are very frugal i know that a lot of people will be like 135 pounds that's quite cheap for a two-bed house and um especially in winter how is that you're paying that little but then don't forget that um it's still relative so i mean energy bill is not like um a one size fits all kind of situation it is relative to how much energy you consume as as a household so for us we're very frugal um the radiators okay i should also say that this house is um the epc rating is e which means that the house doesn't retain so much heat the moment you turn on the heater or the radiator as you may call it and you turn it off trust me the house becomes cold immediately it is that bad the epc rating is e of course in another video i'll talk about things um to look out for if you want to save on energy bills that's also one of it epc rating of e is poor so don't even go below c stick to abc honestly if you want to save money on your, on your energy bills but that's just by the way so it means that we are required to turn on the heater almost every time so when we figure that figured out that that would be the issue here like we'd have to keep the heater on 24 7 we decided to get fan eaters so for the living room and for the rooms we have fan eaters that we use in each of those rooms to keep them warm to keep the rooms warm of course and of course to save some um, money on energy so if you're looking out on how to save money on energy look out for fan eaters and that's what we basically use we really even turn on the radiators because of course the, the radiators in these house are electric and they're also old you guys know that old appliances are not energy efficient so that's that even the boiler boiler in this present house we live is also an ancient saying old is another statement is an ancient boiler i mean it doesn't retain heat and all of that water becomes so cold as as soon as you turn up turn off the boiler the water becomes so cold so yes we're very frugal we use only the fan eaters we only turn on the radiators once in a while really honestly we only turn it on once in a while we basically turn on the fan eater every time and that has saved us a lot also when we're in the house we wear jumpers cardigans and all of that we don't i mean in winter so we ensure that we're also properly clothed we also wear a lot of um, clothing that have um that have fleece so that keeps us really warm but you would always find us in jumpers during winter especially because this house is very very cold so those are things you have to also consider and then of, of of course in winter you spend more money on your energy bills but yeah so we spend 135 pounds on energy so for our council tax we actually pay 145 pounds for council tax and as we know that council tax is um, based on the number of people the number of occupants in the house and i think the number of rooms as well yeah the number of rooms and the number of occupants so yes we pay 145 pounds for council tax on this um on this apartment the next is our water bill and i think we pay about 58 pounds to be precise i think it's um 57 pounds 62 yes so approximately 58 pounds for water like i said we're also very frugal with water but because we have a newborn maybe now we use more water than we used to use before i don't know but that's how much we actually pay on water okay the next thing we pay for is a tv license and we pay 156 pounds i think per year but my husband just likes to pay every month so monthly we actually pay 13.25 yes per month on tv license but if you want to pay per year you'll be paying it i think 155 or 156 pounds per annum but we actually just pay per month which is 13.25 per month the next is our sky um let me just say wi-fi and tv package so we use sky for our wi-fi or broadband as some call it and so the package comes with tv so for tv programs and of course um wi-fi as well and we pay 56 pounds for that um i must actually put a cost the reason why we pay that much for the tv package and broadband or wi-fi is because um, we also watch um sport channels on our sky so there's the basic package you guys know how easy are several packages you can choose from several packages so we don't do basic because the basic does not contain it doesn't include um sports um channels but then even for sport channels are in category so even though we've added the sport channels as additional package we still did not go for the highest where you have all sport channels so even though we're able to watch um live footballs and all of that because 
we are a football family we really love football in this household so we really can't do without football so but we still didn't go for the highest of all the sport channels we went for like still the basic but not like basic basic do you, get, do you guys get the point so we're able to watch virtually all football matches but there are some that we're not able to watch and then my husband just ha he has an app on his phone that we can actually use to watch football matches that we don't get to watch on those other channels if they don't show those matches i hope you i hope you guys get the whole point so we pay 56 pounds per month for that i had to just mention that because so I say, oh, but we only pay twenty pounds for our broadband package. Or we only pay thirty pounds. So that's the reason why we pay that much for our um, Wi-Fi and TV package. By the way, we use Sky, and there are, there are several um, companies. There's Virgin, there's um, Vodafone. I think there are a lot of them. We just love Sky. The next thing we spend money on is transportation, and um, of course we are mobile. Like we have a car, and it's an electric car so we what we spend on is basically just charging the car so because the car is the car came as brand new we don't do mot on the car if if you're driving a car that has not um, lived for three years like you've not owned the car for three years that is that the best way to say it like you don't get to do mot on a car that is not three years old so yeah so we don't do we've never done mot on the car yeah. um yeah so basically just um vehicle tax and and um insurance yes and of course paying for the car but that comes as a total package so for the car we pay 400 pounds every month and that's inclusive of the amount the amount you're paying for the car itself or using the car itself um insurance and um, vehicle tax we don't do mot because it's brand new and also for charging the car because it's an electric car um we charge every week so in a month we spend about i would probably say like 40 pounds for charging the car and that's because the car is only being used by my husband for now you guys know i'm on maternity leave so if say we use a car a lot of times we would spend more on charging but for now we only charge once in a week and um we only use the car or my husband only uses the car monday to friday saturdays we are home watching football of course and um sundays we go to church after church we just go out to say have a um, lunch that's the only time we hit out as a family after church on Sunday and then we're back home again watching football so I would say that we don't really go out as much we're like homebodies really we're not like the very social social people so we really don't spend so much charging the car if we're able to charge once a week I mean it's okay for the rest of the week now I must say that if I was also like using the car actively like I was doing before I, I started my maternity leave maybe would have been charging like twice a week okay so that's that about transportation like I said we spend about 40 pounds every every month for, for charging the car and um, and then for the car itself we spend about 400 pounds every month for that so that's that about the car and the transportation okay, so I would go to my own professional bills because of course that's still part of um, how much you spend every month in the UK so for my own professional bills every year I pay 120 pounds um, for my renewal for my license renewal I pay that to the nursing and military council and um, I think you're able to pay maybe quarterly as well I wouldn't know but I, I just pay every year I don't know if you can pay monthly but I know you can pay quarterly I think but I just pay every year and I pay 120 pounds for that every year so I would divide that by, by 12 that would be 10 pounds so I would, I would add that to the total so that means I pay 10 pounds every month towards my license renewal that um, to the nursing and military council and also for Royal College of Nursing I pay about 17 pounds I think I'll leave the actual figure on the screen but I think it's roughly 17 pounds every month um, to be a member of the Royal College of Nursing so those are the two professional bills I pay that I can remember that I pay actually I know I, I have over time I've subscribed to some journals some articles and that's because of um, my studies it's not related to my professional life so to say okay so the so the next thing is um the phone bill so besides the wi-fi we use at home you guys know that you still need um, um you need data when you're out and about you need um um yeah data so we do data plan for for me because of the sim i use i pay 10 pounds every month yes 10 pounds every month for my own data plan and um, that's like the lowest that I can, I can even do i don't do so much and that 10 pounds gives me 10 gig i think yes 
and that's that for a whole month a lot of times i don't even get to use two gig let alone 10 gig but that's like the lowest plan for the same i use and i think for my husband he also does the same he spent about 10 pounds every month for his own data plan as well and but we don't use a um, contract so our phones are not on, on any contract that's yeah, so that. let me talk about the big one now we spend a lot on feeding in this house and um, we made a rough estimate and i think every month we spend about 400 pounds on feeding 400 or even 500 pounds honestly and um, if i want to be sincere with you the reason why we spend too much on feeding is because we are very we are very much nigerian so we eat a lot of nigerian food in this house first of all we rarely eat out the only time we, we eat out in a week is on sundays after church and that is if we don't even have a match like immediately after church that we, we want to run home to watch so on sundays we go out to eat um lunch but it's not even every sunday so let's say like twice in a month like two sundays in a month that's when we have the time to go out and eat like lunch after church so basically we cook in this house and we eat in this house so look at that if we only eat out say twice in a month so out of 30 days in a month or 31 days in a month let's even say 30 days it means that we cook for like 28 days in a month so that's a lot and we only eat. let me not say we only eat but we mostly eat nigerian food like you guys know how it is we eat amala we eat eba we eat um, pound yam we eat um semo all those nigerian foods um rice beans yam we pretty much eat like we're back in nigeria we don't we we rarely do english food except for breakfast so our breakfast is only like english food bread and tea um, pancakes cereal and all of that but lunch and dinner we go nigerian and we're always in nigerian food so i think that is why we spend a lot on feeding because you guys know that it's very expensive to eat nigerian food abroad because our foodstuffs i mean nigerian foodstuffs are relatively you know more expensive than the regular british food let me let me even use some things as example say for chicken for instance if you want to do the regular um chicken that you can buy at um say asda or tesco you know those um shops or the supermarkets chicken there is very very cheap maybe one pound two pound three pounds at most you know depending on the the the, the size or the number you want to buy now if you want to go for the add chicken the kind of chicken that we eat back home that's very expensive sometimes you spend up to 10 pounds buying chicken and that's because we like to buy a lot of that sometimes even 15 if you buy like several kilos so that's why i'm saying that we spend a lot on feeding that might not be applicable for you if you are not like so big on nigerian food like if you're very flexible if your taste board <laughs> if your taste board isn't like configured to only nigerian food if you're used to eating any kind of food you might not spend that much you shouldn't even spend that much if you're doing basically like british food and all of that but because we i like in this house i make a goose i make a furry roll I make okra soup you know i make all those local dishes so yes fried rice jollof rice beans name it we cook everything in this house so that's why we spend a lot of that and also so before now i think we're basically just spending like 400 every month for feeding but now that we have a baby for the first six months it was exclusively breastfed so we didn't spend anything on his own feeding for the first six months but now that um, we're beginning to win him so he's been eating as well like of course not like our own kind of food but i've been shopping for his own food as well fruits veggies and all of that so i would add that to to the 400 that's why i actually arrived at 500 pounds per month so 100 pounds for brian every month and then 400 for daddy and mommy every month for feeding so that makes a total of 500 pounds so the last thing i'll talk about is miscellaneous and all that is miscellaneous we have a lot of things like i would act, i wrote them down because i really don't want to talk about them one after the other they're just like miscellaneous some of them are recurring bills meaning that every month i pay for them some of them i actually just pay for them one day a year and then some of them are just things that you, just, you know especially as a parent or as a mom you just keep buying things here and there for your baby so under miscellaneous i have my skincare products which ladies you know that lady i mean ladies are very big on skincare products like things i use for my face and my body um, um i have toys as well toys for brian meaning that there are times i'm on amazon just shopping randomly for toys there are times that it's, it's that we just go out come back home with several toys or or he, he just went out and then saw one one beautiful um 
um, piece of clothing he decides to buy so those are like miscellaneous they're not like planned and it's not like they're structured that every month we buy this no just things you buy you know randomly as parents so we have his toys as well we have his books sometimes it's that we just come up with several books for for him so that's on that miscellaneous um my high cloud storage because i buy storage for my high cloud obviously because i i take a lot of pictures pictures for brian i take his pictures every day Please pardon me for that so my storage is always full so i decided to start buying a cloud storage i think i don't know how much i pay for that maybe about three pounds honestly i can't remember the figure and then my editing hubs the hubs i used to edit my videos and to edit my pictures so in total for this miscellaneous i would say every month we spend about 100 pounds for miscellaneous guys and um yeah 100 pounds and i'm saying this because it doesn't look like you're spending so much on miscellaneous but at times i'm just like oh you know what i need a, a green pair of shoes and then i go to say new look or any of those shops where i buy online i look for one green shoe and then i buy it's not something i plan to buy it's not like yeah, it's something i budgeted for but i just wake up on a good side and i'm like you know i need a good pair of shoes and then i buy so it's part of me selling us it's not like every month i do that but at times i just want to do that there are times that we just we're just like you know what let's let's walk into primark and let us buy a few pairs of jumpers and then we just walk into primark i pick two pairs of jumpers my husband does the same we also buy for the baby so that's also part of miscellaneous. It's not something we, we plan. Or the, the fact that I talked about toys, we just buy toys, we buy books for baby randomly. And of course, my editing hubs for my videos and pictures. And of course, my storage as well, iCloud storage. So those are more like miscellaneous. So I've capped all of them at £100. Sometimes it is more than that. But I know on the average, you spend 100, like £100 pounds for that. Like I said, that's also inclusive of my skincare um products and um sometimes even my own toiletries like as a woman you're buying um sanitary towels you guys know all of that so i would also add that to uh, miscellaneous also i'll talk about so this i kept this as um offerings so um, i'm christian i'll give offerings in church we also pay tithes and um um, besides that, I also give to charities, which is just something I love to do. I give to um, Charity Water. I don't know if it's proper for me to be mentioning the charities I give to. Okay, but let me just say I give to charities, and it's just part of it's part of my lifestyle. I love to give to cancer research charities because I feel like there should be a cure to cancer by now. And I also just give to charities that help um, children back in Africa. That is personal to me, but that is still part of. You know what we spend every month so i would it's not like i give so much but i give little like five pounds really five pound bottle you know a couple of charities and then my offerings so in a month i've capped that one to i would just say 50 pounds for all the things i do as regards charities and offerings i'll cap that at 50 at 50 pounds i will not talk about my tithe because by saying that it means you can automatically figure out how, how, how much i earn per month which I wouldn't want to put out there. So for my charity givings and offerings, I would just say 50 pounds. A lot of times it is more than that because sometimes I give as the spirit leads. So let's say that is 50 pounds. Sorry, I'm looking down that because I have a note right in front of me. So guys, I think I've been able to talk about talk about um, pretty much everything we spend on in this house every month. Okay guys, so I actually just did um a total of everything i've mentioned oh my god i cannot believe we spend this much every month so guys we actually spend 2328 pounds every month in fact i would just do an approximation so i'll say we spend about 2330 pounds every month that is um the total i have been able to arrive at based on everything i've mentioned Oh my goodness so i don't know what do you guys think do you think we spend a lot of money do you think 2330 pounds every month is like too much for a family of three don't forget the third person in this family is still a six month old baby what do you guys think do you think we spend a lot or do you think what we spend is like very minimal or do you think um that some things we're still supposed to spend on that we're not spending on Please let me know in the comment section and please let me know your own cost of living i really want to know your own cost of living so if you spend less than what we do or you spend more than what we do let me know in the comment section i want to know how much you as a family actually if you're um a migrant let me know how much you spend per month 
on household bills and all of that every month and if you think there are ways we can do better as a family by spending less which i don't think there is but if you think there are ways that we can actually you know spend less please let us know we really want to learn okay so thank you so much guys for watching um don't forget to subscribe please like this video and of course share please share this video to people who would want to learn um and plan themselves as well please share this video okay and um smash the notification bell as well so you'd always be notified when i put up videos on my channel and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye